When I got in, you know, Mate was the one guy that, that hadn't signed. He committed. It was really, really bad because in one day uh, they let me know that Coach Miller is leaving. And I was like, what I will do now? When we finally did talk, he said that he still had an interest in Dayton. Uh, wasn't quite sure what our interest level would be in him, so I had to assure him that no, we still have a very strong interest. And then Coach Grant called me and he said that he still wants me. So then I, I was really happy. And I, like before, I, I didn't hesitate to, to say yes. I started thinking about college basketball like a year ago uh, because uh, I always want to play in Europe and make a career in Europe and I never think about college basketball. But then I had a really good European Championship and some college start contact me. So, and I start thinking about it and because my situation in Europe was, I don't want to say bad, but it was not perfect because coaches, you know, they prefer all the players to play and they're not giving too much chance to young players so I started to think about to go to college and play here. I started to watch some games, I was looking for information about college basketball and I started to really like it. From the first moment I came here to Dayton, uh, I love it here. It's, it's a great place with great people around and everything, everything is really good here. Like, facility for players, coaches, also my teammates are really good guys. So when I get offer from Dayton and I uh, was on a visit here, I, I, never, I never hesitate to. Uh, the more I learned about Mate's situation, the more I felt like, you know, without question, you would really fit well with how we want to play and uh, what you bring to the table. You know, Mate's a guy uh, that's uh, at 20, 21 years old, has a lot of experience. Uh, he's got a skill set in terms of his ability to shoot the basketball and an IQ. I think another guy that will fit really well with what we're trying to do. I think in, in Europe, it's, we play more actions, more we got more set plays than here. Because I, I see some games where players just play one-on-one -on -one and somebody took the ball and play one-on-one. -on -one, like, 10 times in the world. It, it's gonna never happen in Europe. So it's one of the biggest difference. Also the rules are different. We have, in Europe we play four quarters. Uh, shot clock is different with 24 second shot clock. A three point line is a little bit longer in Europe. In Europe we're not playing for schools. So from young, from young age we play for clubs like every Every man club has own academy, own, own juniors and young team. So we play here, like. So and then, if you are really good, you can go to men's team. It was a really good experience because I played against guys who was 35 and maybe older. So it was different than play against guys same age like me. So it was a really big experience because I played players who, who had experience from NBA, from EuroLeague, and it was really good. To Svoboda. Svoboda lays it up and in. Shot clock down to nine, off to Svoboda, D3, got it! I hope I can bring a little bit of everything in offense and defense, like rebounding, scoring, shooting, passing. I hope I can bring everything to the team.